Hello, forever. For long, our The Voyage program aims to communicate relevant information, to generate interest, and raise awareness within the Pacific communities, encourage passion for education, business ventures, understanding social and economic issues impacting our communities. Most of all, the importance of collective relationships with New Zealand to achieve economic prosperity. This show was made possible by Foundation North, Wuxit and Borage Civil Engineering, The Voyage Media Limited, and Face TV. Leo tu leo le nei polo kalame Samoai in e fai loa fa mahala malama malongo longo pu yali va yanga tau le no no foi le nei tu no e fai mata yala et tala ai la ta tu va ai leo te lenga ai leo le fa pu momo a mahala malama lo tu ngo malu le uma le fetu leni mai o manatu ma ma fo fo le lei ma fai ai ona ta tu fa tino ina tu langa tal fe ngai le lei mo le tama ai nga o ta tu tanga tan u Samoa i ao te ronei. We have in the studio our guest from Rugby League Oceania Cup 2019. Loretta Leao Seve is a mother of two boys, Mason and Jermaine, born in Auckland, New Zealand. She has been playing rugby league since eight years old. Loretta currently resides in Brisbane, Queensland, Australia, where she plays league for West Brisbane. She is a silver medalist at the Commonwealth Panthers Nines and a 2019 country championship winner. Her father is from the village of Fangali'i in Samoa and her mother is Maori from Nangati Hahua, Iwi tribe. And also we have Fonti Luke Kate, ex-rugby player, played for Peter Fats King Country team. Under 20s for Samoa, Auckland Colts, also playing in England and France clubs. After his playing career, he worked for Australian Rugby Union, Samoa Rugby Union, and also helped manage the All Blacks Samoa Test in Apia in 2015. He also part of the Youth Commonwealth Games in Apia 2015. Shifted family and kids to Samoa for three and a half years. Also Rugby League World Cup 2017 as a host city manager. HSBC New Zealand Sevens at Hamilton 2017. And also Great Britain Lions and Oceania Cup 2019. Pacific engagement, promotion and ticket sales. Well, welcome. Uh, our guest, Talofa Loretta and Laufiunga Fonti. Thanks for being here. How's things with the team? Yeah, good. Everything's going good. Um, just working hard, training hard, preparing hard. It's for a big game. The 2019 Oceania Cup is a forthcoming international rugby league tournament among countries of the Oceania region. The competition is set to begin this Saturday at Mount Smart Stadium in Auckland and will be contested by six teams. The competition was announced at the Rugby League International Federation Congress in November 2018. Group A will be comprised the top three ranked Pacific nations in Australia, New Zealand and Tonga, while Group B will comprise Fiji, Samoa and Papua New Guinea. The winner of Pool B will be promoted to Pool A in 2020 in place of Australia, who are due to travel to Europe for their first Kangaroos tour since 2003. Ol manu malo le pool B ole ase atu ile pool A ile tau sang folu afi luas folu ile ava no Australia kangaroos e malanga ta amilo Europa mo le time mo mo talu mai le luafi mal tolu. What is the Oceania Cup look? So the Oceania Cup is uh, it's been started because of the success of the 2017 Rugby League World Cup. Mm -hmm. So from that success of the Pacific Nations, now we're having more um, Pacific Nations challenging the top tier nations. So I think uh, now's the time for like uh, Tonga now, I've got the chance to play New Zealand. Um, it's State of Origin weekend as well. So while the NRL has State of Origin weekend, we've got the other Pacific matches going on board. So it's sort of like a re great chance and opportunity for um, the Pacific teams in New Zealand to sort of uh, rise and um, take, it's just our opportunity to put our um, culture and our rugby league nations on the map after the success of 2017 World Cup. From a female player perspective, mm -hmm. uh, uh, Loretta, how excited are you in terms of this opportunities to be part of uh, Oceania Cup? I mean, uh, apart from the male teams, but also the, the, the women's teams. Yeah, um, 
Yeah, I'm very excited um, for everyone that's involved, um, the staff and especially the players. Um, just to, for the women's game in general, um, the men have always had um, the front row seats of every, th every sport mm. these days and um, it's really good that the women can get in there and nearly meet, meet and be equal with um, the men. Oh, that's good. <coughs> How often does this tournament play? Uh, so this is the first, uh, the first of the Oceania Cup. We've got the Great Britain Lions um, touring. Uh, the Great Britain Lions haven't toured, I think, for fifteen years. So this is so. What, um, is it the equivalent of the British Isles Lions in rugby union? Yes, it's the equivalent of the British Isles um, in rugby union. Wayne Bennett, the coach of South Sydney, is coaching the uh, Great Britain Lions. So they haven't put a team together for I think it's like fifteen years. So. Uh, the International Federation Rugby League Federation saw an opportunity. The Great Britain Lions were coming down to New Zealand, so they thought, oh, let's uh, have an Oceania Cup as well in conjunction with the Great Britain Lions tour. The Tonga National Rugby League team represents Tonga in rugby league football. They are currently the fourth ranked team in the world and the highest ranked tier two nation. The team was formed to compete in the 1986 Pacific Cup and have competed at the five rugby league World Cup starting in 1995 and continuing con Effectively, until the most recent tournament in 2017, where they achieved their best ever result as semi finalists. Nickname Matema Tonga. I would appeal near Tonga's a moment of that point. While only Lumala to Tom Fight of Sanga Tilly Umfai, Tilly Night Tama Fana with Tonga's as with one in New Zealand, Australia, I miss a foy. Fana on Fafa, Lily Love with Tonga, or for Natu Lato Talen in Laka Piliki, a tow to I, Mosulato, Motu Titi or Tonga. Mount Smart Stadium. The Tongans are really making a name out of the Tongan players all over the place. Yeah, so um, so from the 2017 uh, World Cup, now the Tongan players, uh, the pretty much all their team is NRL players. Uh, world class uh, Ford Pack, um, Jason Tomalolo, Siwa Takiaho, all the form uh, props from Inarala, pretty much Tongan now. Adam Fanua Blake from Manly. So th um, there's sort of like uh, now as Tongan rugby play, uh, rugby league players coming up, they've always got the opportunity now. Now they don't want to play for Australia or New Zealand, they want to play for Matima Tonga. And now the same is happening with Toa Samoa. You got Martin Tapao who's crossed over from New Zealand back to Samoa. Um, Jermaine Osako has left um, the Kiwis to come play for Toa Samoa this weekend. Jermaine Osako is like the number one uh, goal kicker um, for the Broncos. So now we're seeing like now uh, the Pacific are really starting to really uh, contest against New Zealand and Australia for the top uh, top two nations for the top crown. The Tongan women, do they have a, a Tongan women team, uh, Lurid? Um, No, not this year. Not this year. They don't have a team this year. So if they have a team, are you guys, Fetus, uh, are more prepared to yes. sort of meet them head on in terms of, uh, you Definitely. know? Definitely. Yeah. yeah, I think that um, with the to um, with the Fetu Samoa girls, um, we're prepared to take on any challenge um, as long as we can take our, our women and our talent to the highest level. The Samoan team are coming from all over the place. Yeah. So tell us about, t tell us more about it. Yeah, so we've got girls, um, here based in Auckland, um, Christchurch, Wellington, uh, Brisbane, that's where I'm currently from, and uh, Sydney, and we've got um, one player from, and some a staff member from Melbourne. So yeah, they are very um, scattered. <laughs> and, and these are uh, women players that they have a Samoan blood and Samoan connection mm -hmm. deep inside. Yes. So they would like to be part of this. And yeah. yourself too was a, was born away from Samoa. Yeah. Your parents came here and then you now make a mark in terms of not only the, the, the life, but also being part of, you contributed to our country in yeah. terms of your talent through rugby league. Mm -hmm. yeah. 
So with um, with my upbringing, I was um, born here in New Zealand and then moved by my parents. Um, our family were moved to Australia. So we adjust to the Australian way. Um, but yeah, in saying that, it's it's always where it starts at home. So um, playing for Samoa is always about giving back to the country, whether we're, whether we're brought up the Samoan way, it's just the pride in um, our hearts, that's where it all comes from. My lord. So Samoan, Samoan National Rugby League team represents Samoan Rugby League football and has been participating in international competition since 1986, known as Western Samoa prior to 1997. The team is administered by Rugby League Samoa and are nicknamed Tor Samoa. Samoa's official ranking is seventh. Or Tor Samoa will tell you that you have to be a fan of the people who are in the world. And the people who are in the world are in the New Zealand and Australia. Britannia and Frani. And the title is the same as the people who are in Samoa. And the people who are in the world are in the world. And the people who are in the world are in the world. And the people who are in the world are in the world are in the world and in the world in Australia. And the people who are in the world are in the world. And the people who are in the world are in the world and in the world are in the world. What's the story about the people who are in the world? Are they uh, well prepared for the upcoming tournament at the weekend, look. Yes, yeah, so they've, got a, they've um, been preparing well in Sydney. Uh, they're playing Papua New Guinea in Leichhardt Oval in Sydney. But I think they've got a young team. Um, Matt Parrish is back coaching again, so he, he's, uh, he's got a lot of experience as coach. I think with Martin Tapao, that has really shocked a lot of people, and he'll, he's a really uh, world-class prop. So I expect uh, Tol Samoa to beat Papua Just Dini. switched uh, a few days, a few weeks ago. Right? Yeah, just a couple of days ago he was yeah. announced in the Kiwi squad and he pulled out of the Kiwi squad and said, no, I, I want to play for Tol Samoa. What, what's around that the eligibility rule? You can change? You can change uh, under the federation rules. Any mm. time frame? I think um, it's, um, it depends on uh, who you play for, but it's a case by case. I think it might be six months to a year. It's okay. just depending on... Yeah, case by case, but like with state of origin, uh, Pacific players now, depending on the upbringing, some are playing for Atoa Samoa, and then some have gone back to play for uh, Queensland, mm -hmm. like uh, Papali'i, yeah. and then gone to represent Australia. Australia. Yeah. So the rules are not as uh, strict as rugby union, rugby, yeah. but I know there's a big debate in rugby union with uh, ex uh, okay. Manu Samoa players coming back to play for Samoa and the All Blacks. And so this is a great debate, especially uh, for the Pacific. For so long, we've been held out. Uh, since 91, I think uh, Samoa team burst on the sea, uh, scene beating Wales. And from then, sort of, we just had to sort of bide our time, bide our time. Whereas in rugby league, the eligibility rules are more relaxed. So players can chop and change between uh, tier one and tier two nations. Loretta, what position do you play? Second row and prop. Front Second row. row and prop. So you can play front row yep. and also second row. Yes. Okay, so that means that uh, it doesn't really matter at the time on the field that you can be part of either the front Both, row yeah. or the second row. So they just work with each other, yeah. Were you part of that position uh, right from the younger age? Or? No, I, I played in the halves when I was younger. <laughs> <laughs> then had kids and then gained the kilos. And yeah. Yeah, I just think with um, being a prop, the mentality is there. That's the engine room, man. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the kids are the drive. <laughs> so yeah, that's that's how I ended up. But I just I love playing um, in the middle. What would you like to say to our communities about said they came? Oh, everyone, get down there. Um, we we are playing. Us women are playing for the Samoan people, you people out there. And I think that it's best. You know, we have your back. You have our back. And we're just, we're family all in one, so one in all in. It's just how it is. So, I'm going to go to the next one. 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 I'm going Sa soi fua mao la nei fafu mai o samo New Zealand Australia mai se tu nu a o la to lotu tele ma la to sa ili malo o man na oi eta alo mo samo ta tu tu e tele nope a mai an malo mo but we'll see you when we back from our break.
Welcome back. The voyage was made possible by Foundation North and Voxit and Porridge Engineering Company Limited. Emma Marie Young is the youngest of 11 kids from village of Malayla. She is 30 years old who was born in Campbelltown, New South Wales, Australia, but currently lives in Newcastle, New South Wales, Australia. She has played for the Tinaroos 2013 to 2016. Also played for Indigenous All Stars from 2013 to 2016 and a New South Wales origin 2013-2014. Emma Marie also competed in the Commonwealth Games 2018 for Samoa. Her mother is Samoan from the village of Malai La Alibata and her father is an Aboriginal Australian. Welcome to our program, uh, Emma. Thank you for having me. Yeah. Good, good mate, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Talofa. Fiji Pati, the Fiji National Rugby League team, nicknamed the Fiji Pati, has been participating in International Rugby League football since 1992. The team is controlled by the governing body for rugby league in Fiji, Fiji National Rugby League, which is currently a member of the Asia Pacific Rugby League Confederation. Fiji have fries reached the semi finals of the Rugby League World Cup in 2008, 2013, and 2017 and are currently ranked fifth in the Rugby League International Federation's world rankings. Look, the Fijians are doing well. I yes. mean, uh, apart from the fact that uh, everyone plays sevens and fifteen, but the, the Fiji party is really coming along well. Yeah, Fiji Party is coming along well. They're playing Lebanon um, after the uh, 2017 World Cup where they upset the Kiwis in the semi-final. Um, this will be, I think, uh, another step for them playing Lebanon. So I'm not quite sure which, which way this match is going to go because there's a lot of Lebanese in Leichhardt. So I think mm -hmm. uh, the Leban Lebanon will have a lot of support in Sydney. Uh, Marie, Emma Marie, Chile Rose. As a player, why switch to the Samoan team for the last few years? So I've always been someone that likes to represent like all of me, which is my Samoan side, my Aboriginal side, and also being born in Australia. Um, I had my ACL Rico in 2017 and came back and was asked to play in the Com Games. And I took that chance, like I have been able to represent my dad's side of the family, wanted to represent my mum's side of the family as well. Mm. Yeah. Have you been to Malala? No, I haven't. No. My like my family, like my brothers and sisters have, but I haven't. It's a very nice place. Yeah. Right at the, the, the far eastern side of Samoa, near the the resorts and the beaches. Yeah. Say so it's it's good to go and visit. Yeah. Malala. I always wanted to. Yeah. 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 How do you fit into the the girls, the camp, and the the team, the culture, yeah. their values and stuff? Well, I feel like I fit in really well. Like we've come from all over. I've been blessed to be able to play with a lot of the girls that come from New South Wales, some of the girls that come from Queensland, and um, so it's kind of like I'm coming in with knowing people, but then also everyone's so loving, like you know that Samoan culture, it's just everyone's like inviting and friendly, so it's been really good. You're one of the 11 children in the family. Yeah. What are other sports that plays in the family? We all play rugby league. <laughs> very rugby league family. My sister yeah? actually played in the 2013 World Cup and played for Australia, like in a few test matches as well before she retired. So yeah. W w which position do you? I play front row, second row. Like Maria, yeah. uh, Loretta. Yeah. Okay, that is the real <laughs> engine room of. In the that's middle. Really, yeah. If it wasn't you guys in the front, we wouldn't be able to score tries. Eh? <laughs> yeah. The workers. <laughs> Look, uh, in terms of the, uh, the the Pacific, how much do the rugby league do in the Pacific in terms of development and such? I think uh, NRL, uh, they've got Pacific uh, offices in Tonga, Samoa and Fiji. Yeah, so the NRL is sort of driving more of the Pacific outreach at the moment. Yeah, uh, International Federation and NZRL um, is sort of like more uh, governing, like NZRLs, uh, sending up... Uh, refs, I believe, to Tonga. They've sent up referees to Tonga because of after the um, 2017 World Cup, everyone wanted to be Jason Tomalolo mm -hmm. in Tonga. So um, we've had requests at New Zealand Rugby League to send up a lot of refs because uh, they need more games. 
up in Tonga? There's all the Pacific nations like the likes of Tonga, Fiji, Samoa, PNG, have a seat in the, uh, the world body. They've got a Asia, uh, a Asia Pacific... Uh, Which we're, we belong to? Or? Yes, and uh, Fafuina Sua is the chair from Tau Samoa. Yeah. So he sits there to represent, represent uh, the represent Oceania? Yeah, and uh, Samoa's um, uh, representation. How about, uh, Marie Emma, how about a representative of the women in that body? I think that would be awesome. Like, mm. the women's game is just getting bigger and bigger. Mm. And we've got, like, you know, we've got the NLW now, which is just going to even bring it even more. And having, like, this test match is just going to inspire the younger generations to want to come up and play as well. We've also got the women's game, the PNG versus VG. I think it's as well down with the men's playing, so that'll be, yeah. BNT Kumuls, the Papua New Guinea National Rugby League team, represents Papua New Guinea in the sport of rugby league football. In Papua New Guinea, rugby league is a highly popular sport and is regarded as the country's national sport. The national side are known as the Kumuls. Papua New Guinea ranks 10th. Ole au Papua New Guinea sa mo malo tapo inga ya ele pose lilo. Tele el tato so tanga Papua New Guinea ona tato sa ngai tele sa mfayai ona anga ya tu tato. Missionary night, a mama tina, or five langi for long or five hour, et a la il tala lay bapunukini. No winger, a yail of sota inga sam one bapunukini, or not an al wing of al tala lay, safatino in a night to our five langi for long. The Kumuls, they were there right from the beginning, uh, look. Yeah, um, Kumuls were right there from the beginning. They've, they're, 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 they're national supporters uh, league, so every time uh, you go up to Papua New Guinea, it's just yeah, um, mm. you just see pictures of people like trying to jump fences to games, mm. and Emma would probably uh, <laughs> know know this. Uh, living in Australia, just seeing yeah. the uh, Australian presidents of thirteen going yeah. up to Papua New Guinea as well. Oh, and the Great Britain Lions are playing a match in Papua New Guinea this year on their way back to Great Britain. So uh, after the um, tour to New Zealand, the Great Britain Lions will end up in Port Moresby and will play the Kumus on their way back to Great Britain. Would there be any time that we can feel the team from either Tonga, Samoa, Fiji or PNG in the NRL? I think Fiji's made an application to, okay. for a team in the NRL. I know Papua New Guinea's been uh, door knocking on the NRL for probably like the last 10 years for a team in the NRL. Yeah, Fiji's been uh, making a bid as well. The talent here in New Zealand of rugby league, both men and women, it's big. Yes, yeah. There, um, there's another application for another team, uh, I think a team from Wellington to go into the NRL. Just being there for some time, eh? Yeah. What would you like to say to our communities around the Saturday games over here at Mount Smart Stadium? Oh, so, um, get to the game. We've got to get to the game. I think we're having more and more Pacific clashes now. And uh, we've had these clashes because of the success of our Pacific people attending the matches. So don't stay at home and watch the game. Make sure you're at the game. The atmosphere is louder than any um, uh, rugby league matches around the world. Um, I've got uh, cousins uh, who have been in America and they've come down to our uh, rugby league Pacific Oceania matches and they said it's louder than NFL. Uh, it's louder than State of Origin. John Hopawadi was uh, telling us yesterday that um, the matches, uh, the Samoa uh, Tonga matches and New Zealand Tonga matches are louder than State of Origin. So this is probably the... Uh, the best atmosphere in the world are at these matches, and that's our Pacifica flavour. The Kiwi Ferns versus Fetu Samoa, the Women's Rugby League World Cup, is an international rugby league tournament for women to determine the best rugby league playing nation in the world. It was first held in 2000 in Great Britain, coinciding with the Men's Rugby League World Cup. In 2008, it was contested in Australia as part of the Festival of World Cups. 2017, Women's Rugby League World Cup was the fifth staging of the Women's Rugby League World Cup and was held in Australia between 16 November and 2 December 2017. The Kiwi Ferns vs Fetu Samoa will take the field this coming Saturday at 3.10 as a curtain raiser for the main fixture of Kiwi vs Matema Tonga at 5.45. Are you ready for the Kiwi Ferns, uh, Emma? Yes, I'm ready. Can't wait. Excited right now just to get out there and play and represent Samoa. So what would you like our community, Samoan community to do before the game? Like, like Luke said, come, just come to the game. Like the more people, the more that show up, the more media coverage, the more that 
like it's going to put us on the map even more like they're just going to want to have more games especially in like New Zealand or even over in Samoa if we have the people that want to attend from a proper come lock <laughs> what is the the recipe of beating the uh, the Kiwi fans on Saturday we've got a pretty like new team that's come together so it's just playing our structured game like listening to our coach and just going from there we've got some solid forwards and we've got like you know our backs and and our half backs that will do the rest once we just do that work in the middle team yeah. relationships and culture should be intact yeah yeah <laughs> look well give us a, a rundown of saturday uh, saturday uh, gates open 2 p.m. Uh, yeah, yeah we've got um, a prayer and uh, opener I think we've got a, a Tongan minister and a uh, Māori kaumātua yeah. opening up and then uh, kick off at 3.10 for the Whitu Samoa vs Kiwi Ferns. I know there's uh, a lot of girls who have played for Kiwi Ferns as well. Yeah. So this is going to be a match what uh, you don't want to miss because I know um, there's a lot of girls who know each other so they're going to yeah. be going 110% at each other. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, after that big clash we've got the... Uh, got like a couple of uh, items I can't say who but yeah a couple of special uh, music items and cultural items and then we'll go into 5 uh, 5 40 p.m. Matima Tonga vs Kiwis where we get tickets tickets are at ticketech.co.nz forward slash league 2019 so ticketech.co.nz and uh, for people wanting to buy physical tickets they're at Mangere East Post Shop Trust Stadium Henderson and Birkenhead Lotto Shop are you selling any merchandise uh, for the Pacific teams like the caps, the scarf, the be jerseys? A, they'll be all at the game. Both yeah. women and... and uh, yep, all, all merchandise, Samoa, Tonga uh, and Kiwis will be at the game. Mm. Would you have your final word for our audience about the game on Saturday? Um, honestly, just having all the support, like representing Samoa, like it's not only just for our family, but it's for all you guys. So hopefully we'll see you there and cheering us on. <laughs> Any Malayla person who lives in Auckland, come in and watch. <laughs> yes, come watch. <laughs> yeah, come and watch one of yours. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. Look, yeah. so so now, Faye, your final word for our program? Uh, just a little of a no. It's been uh, great just for all our Samoan community. Um, yeah, uh, we've got matches as well, Tor Samoa coming at the end of the year, so let's uh, get out and support Fitu Samoa, and uh, it's going to be a great great day on Saturday. So it's the same time with the camps across the ditch? Uh, yeah, uh, we're, we're, we're on first, and then uh, Tor Samoa Because we're be ahead, on, two hours we're, here. We're two hours ahead, and then there'll be uh, the two two matches across the ditch, Tor Samoa. Good luck for the game, uh, Emma, you. and uh, all the best to look for the... Uh, promoting of all these uh, important you know fixtures for our people sa mo malo ta boinga o le have no me fa yai on tal mai ao ma fi mai e mai mo ma matamata yeah miss fui be on sa no ya loretta ma ma ema la have no to si si la ya lum fa na ulta tu tu no le ngate ile awa ali i ali awa ta mata i wa o foi na tu la tu soi fua ya wa fo ta alo mo ta tu tu no ile la piliki la ba no em fa yai ona mai la tu lang lang sa mo mo la ta bo inga ya wa fo ile le ina ya le le ya ta tu au e la vole ta la masan yo ta tu tu no a po la fo ile le le yo fa ti nonga ai le ai ta bo inga ya o le tu lang lang sa mo mo la ta bo inga o le fiong ya look a fonti a cage o le alo sa mo e tele ya vai ngole o ta longa le ngata le lak piuni ul taito fitu ya mai se foi ya le lak piliki o longa lu ai o ya ya wa le 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 ul ta tu tu no ya man we tell us am on ta bo inga ta tu tu efelo e foi we'll see you next time and all the best and have a great weekend